All right, the Pentagon is ensuring the Capitol is protected when the next president is sworn in. To our point here, at least 20,000 National Guard soldiers will be in D.C. for President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration. That's something week. we just spoke with yeah. Congressman Quigley about. Thousands are stationed inside the Capitol already, preparing for growing threats of violence. WGN's Gainer Hall joining us now in studio with details on how they're trying to prevent a repeat mm -hmm. of last week's insurrection. And you heard Quigley, he said, a very difficult challenge. So there are National Guardsmen in every corner of the Capitol. Capital. Fences and barricades are up. Massive preparations underway as authorities are working to try to prevent more violence. A jarring sight in the halls of the Capitol. National Guard troops sleeping on the floors. Cell phones stay in your pockets. Officials say more than 20,000 members of the National Guard will be in D.C. ahead of the inauguration. Among them, 200 from Illinois activated to help federal and local agencies. There's a major security threat, and we are working to mitigate those threats. National Guardsmen were reportedly briefed to be prepared for the possibility of improvised explosive devices and and heavily armed protesters. Now, President Trump is calling for calm, releasing a video with no mention of his second impeachment. I unequivocally condemn the violence that we saw last week. Violence and vandalism have absolutely no place in our country and no place in our movement. But critics say it's too little, too late. And dozens of House Democrats signed on to a letter wanting to know if some members of Congress gave reconnaissance tours on January 5th to some of the same people who stormed the Capitol the next day. With a week to go before Joe Biden's inauguration, the Secret Service is in charge of the planning, working to avoid a repeat of this. Airbnb announced it's canceling reservations in the D.C. metro area area and DC's mayor is urging people to stay away. We have asked Americans uh, not to come to the Washington DC event but instead to participate virtually. President-elect Joe Biden was briefed today on the security situation for his inauguration and his team released a statement saying they're engaging with the current administration to get as much info as possible on the threat picture and on the preparations to deter any other future attacks. Ray and Micah. Thank you, Gaynor. We're going to take a look at more headlines.